Hey everyone, Gaming ADI here. Welcome to Aska. Uh, we did play this a couple of weeks ago as a demo, but it's actually out now in early access. So I thought we'd give it another bash. So I'm not going to go through all the um, character customization because we've done that. Uh, did that in the other one. I have already got a game up and running that I looked at. Uh, hence why it's session five. Let's change that to YouTube. And we'll just click this a few times. I don't know how much it customizes it, how much it changes it, but if you want to play along, there's the seed. It's a long old seed. So yeah, so let's get into this. There we go. So we start in this shipwreck with that horrible robot thing behind us and first things first let's go and pick up this uh, this jotting blood jotun blood something like that which we will need to make other characters on the world we're also going to pick up some of these muscles to give us some food because you're going to need food uh, Zed highlights everything which is fantastic. You will be using Zed a lot in this game. Because it does highlight everything you need to pick up. So I saw that stone there. Um, let's see if we can find some more muscles around. There's one over there. You can see it glowing orange. And another stone as well. Excellent. Don't want to hang around here too much. On the demo, we did actually just build on the beach. Um, which I think was fine for the demo. But I don't particularly want to be doing that for this playthrough. I want to go and find somewhere a little bit better. Look, you can see all the stones highlighted here. Which is great. And there are some bad guys. Can't actually see them around here. No, can't see any at the minute. We have got a map. Which is there. I don't want to move too far from the shoreline either. Um because obviously we are vikings and vikings do like their their ships um this is annoying it's it's hints basically telling you what to do i'm going to dismiss it and hope that it stays dismissed um but probably not knowing my luck now what i'm doing at the minute is i am finding stones i'm gonna also need to find some twigs in a minute or sticks so that I can make myself uh, some tools. Uh, there we go. Get sticks from that. Uh, the one, the other ones down here that are glowing orange, like that one there, that gives us thatch. Um, and we're not really worried about thatch at the minute. Right, let's uh, take that. Excellent. Uh, berries, we'll grab them. Another food source. We'll hold that. Excellent. Now, in the demo, I was saying about the water and um, how you need to build that water thing first to get it up and running. But there are some natural water sources in this game. I think. Oh no, it's a bird's nest. We'll out of that anyway. Uh, there's another bird's nest. Let's grab that. Excellent. So yeah, there are some natural water sources. This is quite high, isn't it? Can't find any. What's that? That's flax. We'll hold. I'll have that. That'll give us fibre. What's that over there? Yeah, there's one. So that's a natural water source. Um, so you can hold that to drink from that, which is nice. Or you can fill up. We've got a pouch down there on our hot bar on number one. So we can actually fill up from that as well. So we're going to need to take them into consideration, I think, when we build our base. So how far do we come from the shoreline? Because like I said, I don't want to be too far from the shoreline. 
But I also want to have some decent stuff around me. So I think we should build our base around here, actually. Or at least the beginnings of the base. It can always move. Okay, cool. Right. Let's get into building. So we're going to need some rope. So let's make up some rope. And we're going to need some stone blades. Oh, can I do five? I can. Excellent. Nice. And then we can go in and we can make our uh, stone axe and stone pickaxe. No, I don't think I'm going to have enough rope. Oh, no, we can get a hoe as well. Excellent. What about a hammer? And we can get our hammer. Oh, blinding. So these are the tools that you're going to need to begin with. Um, we have to level land before we can build on it. There we go. That's a bit better. No, there. Put you in there. That's it. So, yeah, so we have to level land before we can build on it. But what I also like doing is just leveling some land out straight away. So you can notice those uh, arrows on that going round. They're not that easy to see, actually. There they are. Okay, so you can say, okay, that's that. And I believe that the height that you put this first stick at will determine the height that the rest of the the, uh, the stuff goes to. That's probably not a great one, actually. And then we can get our hoe out and we can level the land. I think I just uh, destroyed a bird's nest. Never mind. There'll be plenty more. So you notice the ones in red we can't actually do anything with, probably because there's something there. Okay. So maybe this wasn't a great place to build in the first place. <laughs> Although I do believe if I do that again... Uh, that one... And then go that way. I do believe then that'll build that up. There's a lot more creatures in this one than there were in the demo as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build a fire. Uh, and then upgrade it to a campfire. Um, because until we've done that, we can't build a shelter or anything. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm just going to level this out. And then we're going to build a campfire. It's not a bad patch. Doesn't open us up much for expansion, though. Right, let's get a fire going. So I'm going to put the fire... I'm going to put the fire here. Um, and then our supplies all the stuff so we can put one twig in that. If I press Q on it, it'll pin it up at the top left corner there. So we can see we need six sticks and three fibers. Okay, so we've got our stuff for the fire. There is our fire. You hold E to ignite it, as it says on the screen. There is another menu, G menu, which we can go into. Uh, God's favors. Tells you little things that you need to do to get God's favor, basically. Uh, build improved fire, water supply, gatherer, blah, 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 blah. And there's lots of them as well. Combat, survival, building. Um, I'm not going to worry about them too much. I'll just go through them as we play the game. So next thing is to upgrade this to a campfire. So cue that and we're going to need small stones and more sticks. So what we can do is we can harvest this stone here. And although it will give us small stones, it will also give us large stones as well. And it does take a while at the minute to, um, to do it. Okay, so... As you can see, we've got a lot of small stones here now. Uh, and these ones, these are your large stones. You can knock them down to be um, smaller. But you don't particularly get a lot from it. Right, four sticks. Now, the other thing we can do with sticks is we can knock down one of these trees. Which will give us sticks. So that'll fall down. 
Harvest that again. Ta da! Hit the Z button. And we've got bark, we've got resin. And most importantly, we have our sticks. Like so. So now from that, we can go and put that in here. And now we have our campfire. Um, the other thing you can get from these trees, because I don't believe these trees grow back, is these stumps. If you take the stumps out, they give you firewood. And that'll save you using your twigs or your bark on the fire. You only get a couple. Sometimes you only get one. Um, but I think it's better than using anything else. And you can see there, add fuel. You can see that's firewood at the minute. And you use that and then it goes to twigs. And I don't like using the twigs because we need a lot of twigs in this game. There we go. There's our campfire. The next thing we need to do is a shelter, which is there. Um, I like to put the shelter next to the fire. But I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get this because of where I've built everything. don't think I'm going to be able to get it that close because of the trees and stuff. Right, let's put it there for now. I don't like it here, but it'll have to do. Uh, I think I've picked quite a crappy place to start my base, actually. So we might have to look at moving a little bit later on. So we leveled the ground out, even though it was already leveled. Um, and these have about three stages to them. So you can see we need long sticks at the minute. So down here where we chopped our tree, we do have some long sticks. Now you can only carry one of these at a time. So we'll throw that in there. And pick up that one. We only got two. Right, and then you press E to build. And then it gives you another stage to build, and then the last stage. There we go. So we can see now we need another long stick, rope, and sticks. So what have we got left over here? Got some resin, we've got some bark. I think I might have to chop down another tree. I don't believe there's any damage from trees falling on you either, which is quite nice. Nice, right. Let's grab that. Chuck that in there. So we need seven sticks. We should have a few here. One, two, three, four, five. Is that all we've got? Five, six, seven. Oh no, I was wrong. One of them must have been bark. We need one more stick, which we can get from that plant there. You also notice over here, there's like these crops. That's onion. They're dotted. Onion, garlic, cabbage, I think are the ones I've found the most of so far. Um, but I think there are other stuff. And obviously when you pick them, you get seeds as well, which means then you can farm your own stuff. Now, for the rope, little trick here. Go into your inventory and all this bark we've got. Uh, so what do we need? We need two rope, which means we need four fiber. So if you hold the left shift and then click on the bark, it turns that into fiber. So then you can go into here and you can craft up your fiber. Probably didn't need to do that, but I think we might have had enough to build the rope in the first place. But yeah, so don't destroy your bark, don't get rid of it, because you do you can make fibre from it, which is quite handy. I know I've seen a lot of people playing this and they're like, well, I don't want to pick up the bark. Um, because it just gets in the way, but you can use it for stuff. Okay. 
Now, the other thing you can do is obviously we've got our long sticks here. But we need bark. So I know you can harvest these long sticks. I don't know what they're going to give us. Can't remember. But let's have a look. There we go. So we've got bark, bark, firewood, sticks, sticks. Okay, so it didn't give me as much bark as I was hoping. But we can add the firewood to this. And then we can add that to the shelf. So I need two more bark. Okay, so we now have enough bark. So we're going to chuck that in there and we're going to build that up. There we go. Now we have our shelter. So the first thing we're going to do is have a quick kip. That restores your health. Um, so you're healing, as you can see there. Uh, it just gives us a little bit more vigor. And I have, think I remember that we can actually, while we're asleep, yeah, we can actually eat while we're asleep, which is a little bit strange. But you can top everything up whilst you're asleep. <laughs> so when we wake up, which we can do now, everything's full, uh, daylight's coming in, time is at the top there, so you can see top right, we've got spring, six o'clock in the morning, we've got the temperature, we've got how many villages we've got, and everything else. So that's the basics. I think that's basically what I did in the, in the first, in the demo. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to build a rain collector. Uh, and I'm going to put that right next to my hut. Just there. And then we're going to look at getting some more people in. Okay, so we now have our water collector, which is fantastic because we are going to need that. Now, the next thing I want to do is level off a bit more ground because we are going to have to start thinking about getting some extra people in. Okay, so I've cleared a bit more land and I've chopped a few more trees down. So we've got some stuff to work with. So the next thing I want to build is going to be the Eye of Odin. Um, and we're going to th try and throw this right on this little, this little nook out here. And put it there. And what this will do is this will enable us to... Um, can we supply any of that? We can. Um, this is going to enable us to bring in some more villagers, which is quite important because there's a lot of stuff to do. And the more people you've got, the easier it's going to be to do it. So I want sticks. Uh, another two sticks we need. There's one. There's one. And then we're also going to need two long sticks, which is fine, because we have them here. Chuck that in there. And then we can have that one. Now that stuff that I picked up right at the beginning, that's what we're going to need to get the villagers. And there are stones around in places where you can harvest more of it to bring in more villagers. There we go. And T to open. No, 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 no. Uh, e to open storage. And then this... How would you say that? Jotun? Jotun? Whatever it is. These blue stones. <laughs> they go in here. Like so. We can activate and now we've got another person that we can get and they arrive in about 10 minutes so this one steadfast resolve i possess unwavering mental fortitude which makes me immune to anxiety debuffs allowing me to remain resolved okay and he's a good lumberjack this guy daylight devotion through thought to be the cursed spirits of those who are washed ashore yet lack the conviction of the old faith being denied passage to the holy hall of the gods 
Authority betrays the weakness in this war. Resilient surge. I find my inner strength when I... My health is... No. We're going for Leon. Uh, purely because of the lumberjack skills. So he's going to appear in 10 minutes time. So now... Oh crap, I've run out of firewood. Um, we're going to have to get stuff ready for him. Uh, let's harvest this tree stump. Like I say, I don't believe trees grow back in this game. Um, I mean, I haven't... It's not like I've played it loads and loads. Um, but I haven't seen anything grow back before. Um, so, yeah, I'm not that worried about... Uh, chopping down tree stumps. All right, let's get this fire back up and running. There we go. I'm going to grab a quick kip. And then what we need to do is we need to build another shelter. There we go. And this should finish his hut. So once he actually spawns, we've got a place for him to sleep. Just like so. Excellent. Right, let's have a quick kip. Get some stuff back up. Oh, I need to eat. Um, let's eat. I do love the fact that you can eat while asleep. I think that's great. You can notice the muscles are um, in the bottom there on the bar. Uh, they do go off. So don't eat them if they're off. You will get um, you will get a debuff for that. Okay, right. That's that done. It's very dark. I think there's not a lot I can do about it at the minute. I might be able to build some torches. Um, notice how quicker that's going down now. We've just got out of having a kip. We're full up on the health and the water. And that goes down so much faster. Alright, let's chop that down. Can we do that one? We can. Because the next thing I want to build is to gather as a pit. See how much slower that's going down now. That's crazy. Um, yeah, we're going to build the gatherer's pit next. So that when this guy turns up, we can get him to go out gathering. And he'll gather stuff like berries, feathers, and things like that. That can go in there. He's with us. Excellent. Right, let's assign this to him. Uh, manage house R. Assign him there. So now you are not homeless, my friend. And we can... I don't know if this does anything, but we can wave at him. Like I say, I don't know if it actually does anything or not, but we've got him. Let's have a drink. And we can also gather, which fills up our pot. There we go. Good. Um, right, what do we need? We need rope. So, give me some bark. Bark. Right, let's turn this into fab. Build some rope. That should be enough for a gatherer's pit. What's up with you, mate? Open villager menu. I am a builder, but you can assign me. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, because everyone that comes through is automatically a builder. Until you assign them a different job. Which, as soon as this is built, he's going to be a gatherer. Ta-da! Right, ah, oh, manage workers. You, my friend, are now a gatherer. Go gather stuff. So what they'll do is they'll fruit basket so we can deposit our stuff into there. And then you've got a veggie basket. So we've got some onions. And then we've got other stuff, which is basically 
feathers, there's some uh, fiber there, seeds, all that sort of stuff go into that one. Nice, so he's gonna fill that up, excellent. So the next thing is we need another person. Um, let's get this, harvest these up. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same again as what I've just done there. Um, but this time, we're going to get another person for, I don't know, wood cutting. The other thing I need to do, actually, is I need to get a fire cover on this so that it doesn't go out in the rain. Which is quite easy to do. Bark, rope and sticks. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. So like I say, I'm going to get all this up and running. I'm going to get another guy in to start doing some wood chopping. Um, and I'll bring you back once we've done all that. Okay, so we now have our woodcutter's pit. Which you can store the long sticks, the stick sticks, bark, thatch, all that sort of stuff in there. Uh, so we've got that one and we've got the gatherer's pit. We've got the new guy turned up who is here sleeping away. Yes, yes, sir. Something like that. I don't know. Don't know. I don't. I don't know what his name is. He hasn't told me. Um. So yeah. So I've assigned him to that. So he should now start coming in and chopping a load of these trees down. Um. And start piling the stuff up, which then obviously makes it a lot easier for me. There we go. I'll start it off for him. Which then obviously makes it a lot easier for me to start doing the other stuff. Um, so the next thing is obviously the stone cutters pit. And another person. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to hunt down this stuff. And I'm going to start mining this up. And get another person coming in. Oh, what have I done? I've broken my pickaxe. Can I make another one of them now? Nope, I can't. Okay, right, I need to build another pickaxe. Uh, and then I'm going to do, again, exactly the same. Get another person in. Okay, so we've got a pack of hungry smokers coming in. Um, now, I think I had this in the demo. And I don't think it actually does anything particular. Yes, there were animals coming in. But they didn't really attack us. Um, I don't know if that's changed in this one. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure. I guess that we could actually attack them. Um, but I don't know. I don't think they're actually a danger to us. These smokers. I'm not sure. I'm going to do this and... Um, can we see anything about it on the map? We can see our people. Food foraging marker, wood harvest marker. Oh, that's quite good. I like that. That covers quite a big area, which is quite good. Can't see any smokers coming in on the map, though. Um, right, let me carry on with this. If anything happens, I'll bring you back. Okay, so... We're just waiting on this new guy to turn up, um, who should be here in 20 seconds. I've built a stone thingy. You notice um, we've got some people here. Um, yeah, we got attacked. Uh, so I need to deal with that. Um, I do like the way that it's just been raining. And if you look at me, I've got this like wet sheen all over me. The ground's changed and everything. Right, here's the new guy. Here's the new guy. So let's assign you to this, which I believe is you. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is this guy's good at gathering. If we open his villager menu and go to his stuff. Uh, he's a natural born hunter with healthy appetite, forages instincts. I have a strong connection with the natural world and I'm able to gather more resources and maximize the bounty of the land. So that's good. So he is now going to go on to the, um, 
the collector's thing. This one here. And instead, so he is going to be assigned to this. Now, Leon, what are you good at? You're good at fishing, cold resistance, steady resolve, lumberjack, iron stomach. Okay, well, I've already got a lumberjack. So I think Leon is going to go on to... Yes, you are going to go on to the thing. We're going to dismiss you from there. And then Leon's going to go on to here. Uh, Leon, assign. There we go. So now we've got three people, three jobs. I'm going to grab a sleep. And that's all good with the world. Let's um, up that water while we're resting. So the next thing to do... Can we look through this? We can. Look at that. Um, is... We could build a water well. Um, we've got some of these to put up as well, but we can't do any of them yet, I believe. Yeah, need a workshop pit. Um, we've got each one of them. Oh, cave. Nice. So these have all got upgrades to them. Okay, so we can turn them into huts and then houses, which is nice. I've put out a, for, a food foraging marker so they go out foraging a little bit further out, which is good. We can build a warehouse, I guess. Um, allows you to build a wide variety of storage structures, can assign two workers. Okay. So, yeah, we could do that. But the other thing is we need to be looking at a bit of defense. So we've got gates and fences. We've got a watchtower. So I guess we could start putting up some fences, but they are flimsy. But we can upgrade them from there. A wolf far pup trap, whatever that is. Kennels, barracks. Okay. Let's have a look at a flimsy fence, shall we? Does not contribute to the village's defense score. A weak mayship fence, good for keeping smaller animals away. Well, that's not going to be a lot of cop then, is it? That's not going to be a lot of cop. So, I think the next thing's going to be a workshop pit. I think that's going to help us out a lot. Yeah, because we need the workshop pit to upgrade these. Okay, so workshop pit it is. Oh, my word. This thing is huge. Where the hell are we going to put this? Bloody hell. That would probably help if it was daylight when I built this, wouldn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, I can't see squat. And at the minute, it doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. Okay, right, let's wait until daylight. Uh, let's, well, as we're up, we might as well take some of these. And do that. I wish that when you slept, it would roll through time a little bit quicker. I guess it does a little bit quicker, but not a lot. It still takes a long time to get to daylight. It'd be nice if you could just sleep through the dark. But it doesn't seem to want to do that, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love this game. I like this. I think I'm going to be playing this quite a bit. Hopefully you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Um, I'm still not 100% sure this is the best place to build our first like proper, proper base. Um... I don't I think it's just a bit too small. I think we're going to have to look for somewhere else. Let me know what you think and we'll go from there. But for now, we're going to leave this here. Um, everyone's sleeping. It's not quite daylight, although it is getting daylight. We've been attacked once. We've got all our pits up and running. 
and I think that's a good place to leave it until the next episode. So thank you very much, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. If you do, um, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of the game, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. See you later, guys.